Hey Aquarius, welcome to your weekly tarot reading. I am Sheldon Lizette. This is going to resonate with you if you have Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus and Aquarius. It may or may not. Uh, January 26th to the February 2nd is when this video is for. The Sun, the High Priestess. As always, I do need to give gratitude and adoration to my great Queen Lamorgan. Morgan. Let's see what else is going on for you, Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus. Four Cups, Temperance. Okay, we do have a lot of... Um, I mean, we've got two major arcana here, but they're two pretty big cards, especially that high priestess. It's, it speaks to me a lot. Justice, another one. You know, with your birthday, happy birthday, by the way, if you're a January baby. Um, there is this big energy around transformation, right? There's another, there's another turn around the sun for you. What are you learning? What are you letting go? What are you still holding on to? That's too many. We're going to get one more and then I'm going to see what's going on. I'm also going to pull out some Oracle and Romance cards. <sighs> you know, it's your birthday, so we're going to go with it. Oh, okay. All right. Ten of Swords reverse at the bottom. The Eight of swords and the ten of cups let me just get some energies here and we'll jump into this reading so we got the sun the high priestess I actually had way more than i originally thought of. so we got the sun the high priestess the four of cups temperance and justice Queen of Cups and the Two of Cups is how your reading ended. And then there was two of the extra that fell out. We're going to take them just because it's your um, it's your reading. It's your month. The Four of Swords and the Three of Cups. You know, here's one thing I'm going to tell you straight off the bat. If you uh, happen to be uh, celebrating your birthday, um, just a word of caution. Don't go in excess, right? Uh, that there's two of, two of cups, four of swords, three of cups is just, I feel like you're like continuously partying or meeting with people or like, you know, really busy. I know there's different times here um, in 2021 around gatherings, but still there is that energy there. And um, I apologize if you can hear the uh, heater in my office because it's chilly way in here. So I want to tell you overall, I feel like next month is, or next week rather, the 26th to the 2nd is going to be really solid for you. It's going to feel... Um, very rejuvenating. There may be things that you might be wanting to push forward, um, but temperance right smack dab in the middle is kind of saying to you, you're chill, let, it, let, let things evolve as they are meant to, okay? Allow things to, um, you know, flow. Allow the ebb and flow to come through for you. With that four of cups, I'm also seeing here that there's something you're shifting here, you know, because it's very interesting. The sun, the high priestess are really good cards. And the four of cups is like, I'm over it. I'm not willing to take this gift. It's almost like you want to rush something that you can't rush, to be honest with you. I think you need to trust your intuition on this situation. With that sun card here, uh, you know, you walk into the week very happy, very go lucky, uh, very much um wanting to begin the dawn of a new day or experience something lovely, something new. Uh, I'm going to be really honest with you. For some of you, I do see you jumping into some type of relationship, some type of connection, some type of offer here with that justice, the two of cups and the queen of cups. Maybe you want to, you know, rush into a relationship or maybe you're, you're wondering if it's time to take a, the next level in a relationship that you're in or your partner is saying that to you where they're saying, Hey, like, I want to take it to the next level, like I want to move in together, or I want to get engaged, or I want to have kids. Um, but there is this energy here with that two of cups of four swords and the three of cups that like you feel the same way, but there's things you still have to muddle over. There's still things that you have to think about. You know, whatever you're going to do this week and whatever choices you have to make this week, make sure that you are in that high priestess energy. Trust your intuition. Listen to your intuition. Do not rush into things with that temperance card, okay? You can still... You know, if it's if it's around a relationship or a union connection, because there's a lot of cups, so I am going to say this is feelings. If it is around a relationship, a connection, like maybe somebody wanting to level up with you or you wanting to level up with somebody. Remember, there there's still happiness to be had. There's still positivity to be had. There is still sunshine to be had, even if things aren't rushed, right? Things that are meant to be don't need to be rushed. 
things that are meant to be will always end up working themselves out, right? You don't need to force something to, to happen here. With justice, it looks like you may have some contracts, some paperwork, some documents that you need to sign. Um, maybe around work, there's also this energy of like patience, allow the universe to like do its thing here with you, okay? Uh, but overall, with all these cup cards, especially the queen of cups and the high priestess together, I wanna tell you a couple things. One, you gotta really listen to your intuition this week. From the January 26th to February 2nd, listen to your intuition. Do not deny your intuition. Do not ignore your intuition. Your intuition knows how to get you to that 10 of cups, okay? Your intuition knows exactly what it needs to do to get to that 10 of cups, so don't ignore it. Don't not listen to it because you're so used to being methodical and rational and processing things from a very realistic point of view, okay? I, I keep looking at this four of cups here as well. The opportunity exists for some of you to actually get some type of offer, so I'm just gonna turn the heater off, it's really hot now. Um, uh, there is the opportunity for you to get some type of offer, um, but what I'm getting with this offer is some of you might not take it or somebody might not accept the offer that you're giving because there's still a lot of decisions to make. I really get the energy for some of you. You might have kids or your partner might have kids and as you're evolving your relationship and deciding like, are we gonna get married? Are we gonna move in together? Are we gonna move up in a level of commitment? This conversation around kids keeps coming back. You know, uh, do I want kids? Will kids work in the relationship? Um, can I accept being a step parent? Uh, there is a lot of that energy. Towards the end here with a two of cups, the four of swords and the three of cups, the one thing that I will share with you is, is that while there's so much to celebrate and so much happiness to be had and so many good times to be had here with these beautiful cards together, it's also really, really important for you to rest, retreat, recuperate, um, you know, a lot of meditation, a, a lot of self-care, a lot of self-love, all right? Um, something may be ending here with that Ten of Swords and that Ten of Cups, to be honest with you, where, you know, maybe you thought that this was the person that you are going to spend the rest of your life with, um, but now as your, your relationship evolves or you continue to take the next steps in your relationship, you're realizing, ooh, maybe like they, they participate in the same patterns or the same habits or they say one thing but they do another, you know, like people who walk the walk but don't talk, or sorry, people who talk the talk but don't walk the walk. Um, and you're realizing that because with justice here and temperance, these two cards together are telling me like one, you're divinely protected, okay? So whatever is transpiring in your world, whatever is shifting, whatever is changing, whatever you're experiencing, especially um, from the week of the 26th to the 2nd, it's really important for you to understand that you're divinely guided and you're divinely protected. So even if it feels like things aren't going your way, uh, it doesn't mean that they're not, they're actually going exactly the way that they're meant to be going to protect you um, and to um, set you on a positive path moving forward in your life, okay? A path that is meant for you, a path that um, is deserving for you. Some of you are definitely gonna get some type of love offers, okay? Some of you are definitely gonna find out stuff uh, about this love uh, relationship. Look at this. Trust, the situation is calling you for you to have faith. Did you see how many fell off? Unrequited love, there is not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. And that was that ending I said, right? Where you thought maybe you guys were gonna be together together, or you all were gonna be together forever, but then as the relationship's going on, you're realizing you're on different wavelengths. Deception, someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship and worth waiting for divine timing is at work in your love life, right? So spirit is saying like, if there is something, whoa, crazy. So this deck was underneath death. So something here is definitely transforming um, for you Aquarius, okay? So just trust that absolutely everything that you are experiencing right now, especially if it's emotional, um, to, to embrace and surrender to these emotions and to understand that sometimes things don't work out so that better things can work together, all right? Now the important thing here is that you deserve happiness, you deserve a balanced, loving relationship, and if you're not getting that in what you're currently experiencing, 
experiencing, it's okay for you to make the decision to say, it was good while it lasted, but now it's time for it to shut down. Trust your intuition in all matters in regards to the heart, especially this week. All right, Aquarius, if you want a private reading, take a look at the description box below. I offer live and pre-recorded. And if you're into gemstone healing jewelry, I am wearing on my hands right now. I'm wearing Venus and Aphrodite, Vesta and the Evil Eye, Malojo. You can purchase those in the description box below as well. We'll see you later, alligator. Peace out. Bye.